Now, Boston, you were probably one of the most controversial guys online. And for a young guy, what are you, 22 now? 21. So. 20, you still 21? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You're 21 20, a long time. I'm turning 22 this, <laughs> this, this, next years. week, actually. Oh, next week? All right. Well, happy birthday. Yeah. Um, what made you decide to be so, you know, so outspoken on the internet? I, I mean, you're a guy who everyone knows speaks whatever's on his mind. He speaks the truth. He doesn't hold anything back. Well, I think the main thing is, like, I was, like, born, like, with bodybuilder parents, lived in the gym. So I, Your like, dad was a bodybuilder. My mom was, too. Both of them oh, were top bodybuilders. My mom was natural Miss Universe 99. And What's my her dad name? did the uh, Marie, Marie Rea at the time. My dad was a competitor too, so it's like so Steve Wenisham knows who, she and is. they own the Gold Gym in Northridge. So literally, I was uh, born and raised in the gym. So, okay. and like I don't know, my parents were always super honest about it. You know, they were very upfront with me. So, in and, terms of like performance enhancement stuff, yeah, always. My dad would always tell me he never hid anything from me. Mm. Like, so I mean, I don't know. I just grew into it, and that's like I see a lot of kids getting lied to, spending so like money. Like I used to spend you know money on GNC supplements, thousand dollars a month. You know, and, and it's like. To me, it's like, that's what I try. It's like, I don't want kids, you know, rather than go spend their money on chicken breasts than buy right. garbage supplements that are not going to do them any well. Right. When did you start working out? At what age? Uh, well, I started at six. I started guest posing, doing guest posing. <laughs> oh, with your dad? No, my it was actually my mom. I was guest posing at national shows and I was raising money with kids with cancer for the Ronald wow. McDonald Association. And then after that, my parents divorced and got out completely out, like fat kid, like completely fat. <laughs> wow. And then... Uh, about I picked it back up at 17, did my first show at 17, and I've done like what seven? I think when you did prep me for the Contras, my seventh show, you won the overall at the NPC Correct. Contra Costa two years ago, right? Was it a year no, ago? No, it was last year. <clears throat> last year. Yeah. Um, so, what made you decide to start doing these YouTube videos that you're so well known for? Well, actually, right after the Contra, uh, I made that video that went viral about my full cycle, everything I did. Oh, there um, you are with your mom. Look at yeah. that. Holy yeah. mac. That's the Venice muscle pit, right? Yeah, that's that's where I was basically. Your mom was good. She did shows every week for about two years. I've, she probably has, what, babe, over like 200 trophies? 100 trophies. Yeah, in the house. So, What do you think, Jimmy? Impressive? No, I was uh, I actually, it rang a bell. when. Uh, did you date his I, mom? I, I, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, you never know, though. Because Jimmy was out in California. Uh, <laughs> I, I trained at the... Uh, the Northridge? Yeah. Really? Yeah, with my friend Gary Starrick. He was a personal okay, my trainer. My dad would probably know him. Yeah, what year was that, Jimmy? Yeah, that was back in the early 90s, probably. That's know. when my dad owned it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I was there, man. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, sure I like that gym. There's a big bodybuilder gym, like Victor yeah. Richards trained there. Oh, he did? Um, a lot of good, good top bodybuilders. Yeah, it was a good there. gym. Yeah. Yeah. I trained heavy over there so with Gary. So talk about, let's go back to this video, the first video you made. It was my, f yeah, it went viral. It actually got pulled down I, at like 700,000 views. Why? Um, probably just open steroids. I got, still got the video on my computer. A fan actually sent it to me, but I basically just spilled it all out. What I did, A to Z. Yeah, your mom too, huh? Yeah, that's me and my mom. So How old were you there? This was just recently. Maybe like, what, four months ago? Oh, wow. Yeah. Where's, your, so mom, where's your mom now? She's still in uh, California. Oh, she's still yeah. out there? She, she's uh, single? She has a full, this is in her house. This is in her house. Full. Wow. When I, when I trained for my shows at the... Uh, it's in the house? Right. Yeah. Are you impressed with that? My mom has hey, Jim? My mom has 12 pieces of cardio yeah, equipment in the house. No, yeah, I mean... She always begs me to come back. She has 12 pieces of cardio equipment in the house, a full gym. Ron I mean, would I never expose going. his equipment to the outdoors, though, so. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean. He has dehumidifiers. It, it was a perfect setup for when I was training, yeah, for sure. She got the mats on the floor and everything. Everything. A to Z. That's yoga, cool. yoga, everything. So That's pretty cool. So you did this, this video, went viral. They took it down. YouTube took it down? YouTube took it down. At what were you, what did you say in the video? I literally went A to Z my whole cycle. And obviously, you did my. What was the first cycle that you ever did? Ever? Yeah. 300 megs a deck, and I got puffy nips. Like, <laughs> it was just horrible. Per I, week, you did. 300 megs. Yeah, but I was obviously, I started out with the pro hormones because I thought that, you know, over the counter. Right. And I was lactating, like, all over the place. Oh, but, you were? Yeah. So that yeah. didn't work out well for you. Yeah. But I've lactated ever since until I got the uh -huh. nipple surgery done. Yeah, you got the kind of surgery yeah. done, yeah. Okay. And what, what was, uh, you know, what. I guess it was the first moment you can remember where people actually started like listening to what you were saying and started emailing you questions and asking you right away. I didn't because you're a young guy, you know. You think people, you know, I had just turned 21 when I made that video, like eight weeks, uh -huh. and I didn't really think it was going to go viral. I really didn't, you know. I was like, I won the contract at 21. Um, just to let you know, this is what I did. A to Z. I like from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed. And it was like a 35 minute video, and it went viral. Everybody started putting it on their YouTube channels, mm -hmm. and it just blew up. And were you were you concerned about you know saying that you were taking things that, that you necessarily weren't legal you know? No, not really, because I mean it's all talk. You know, who knows? I could have been lying the whole time. I, no, they, I understand you know that, I mean? but you didn't care. It didn't no, matter. I, no. Now, Jimmy, you always were a very you know honest person and, and, and said it like. Would, were you as honest as him though? I'm honest. Would you have done what he did? Posted on, on um, the internet. Yeah, I think I would have. Yeah. If you knew kids were being yeah. misled and stuff like that, I mean. 
Yeah, I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, what was what's the you know? I know you've put some crazy videos up there where you've said some crazy cycle. Yeah. What's what's the craziest cycle you've ever done? Probably <clears throat> the craziest cycle anyone's done. I've done twelve cc's a day for about eight. About did over twelve grams of gear for the last three weeks before I mess my nerve up in my arm. I just like to experiment, man. Like I you know, oh, obviously I, the more gear not it's not the better. I there didn't, you are right up there. That was when you prepped me for the contra. Yeah, yeah you look really good. What what was the you, you were not taking that I much was gear 19 for that. on the left. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I was only on like four grams of gear. I I did <laughs> four grams of gear. <laughs> but who knows what's real? That's why I'm like that's the contra. So you were on how many how many twelve that's, grams that's, of gear? That's like that was in about a, a year. What uh, happened, what happened with the nerve in you on? I actually doing a shot. Yeah, doing a shot, I messed you it up. You ever take a shot, Jimmy, and you get like you feel like you got a fire well, I'm just your about arm? to ask him, where, yeah. where, where did you shoot? That the shoot, nerve guy? I shot the short head of my tricep, and like right before I went to go to the gym, actually. Uh, was that the old non nerve that you. That you uh, Ulnar, yeah. It was? That's, yep. Jimmy had his relocated. Yeah, really? I had mine relocated. From man. a shot? <laughs> they decided. They decided. <laughs> it was, it was no, so I just decided to right. go get it relocated. <laughs> I was getting tired of where it was. <laughs> yeah, but. I won't shoot my short head anymore. That's right. I never shot my arms ever. Period. Yeah. I thought that now, was. You, I thought arms, I thought that was very dangerous. Did you ever did synthol? No, Jimmy? never. I've heard people accuse yeah. you of having synthol in your arms. Yeah. So. I, I, people I, are saying I, that Jimmy <laughs> the Bull has synthol in his arms. What really? Do you say to that, yeah. How my my, that? my my old maybe not my <laughs> arms. Uh, I think I think uh, on site shooting in the arms could cause rips and tears. That's why I never did yeah. it. Well, because you train heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, I don't exactly. train heavy, man. I really don't. I just go for the pump. Yeah, if you go, you go because you're causing scar tissue. So that could rip. Yeah, that's why I never did it. Well, the painless you know? pump supposedly doesn't cause scar tissue. Who knows if there's any truth to that? Eugene, what do you think about the synthol? Do you do you, have, do you endorse that? Do you nah. turn it down? Eugene, or? don't fuck with that shit. <laughs> no, but for sure it will help. It will help. It will help. Yes. Yeah, it fills out the arms, the yes. calves. You know. Not a lot, though. You do a little bit. You don't. No, you, don't but you, you can't lay on that. He's Russian. Russians do everything in extreme. You know that. You, Eugene, you don't do it off season. Just pre contest. Have you ever done 16 grams of gear per well, week? It was like, it was. That sounds like a lot, man. Have you ever heard of any human being that's ever done that much? Oh, I'm, I'm I, sure I've heard. They, they oh, do. I've heard. I've heard of words. Yeah. Uh, I told story. Well, not before. One guy in Russia. Yeah. Talking to Russians, Mike. One of the gym in Russia. Yeah. Uh, they also playing with like you a lot of stuff plus did insulin. Mm-hmm. And after I got he did insulin, and something didn't work right. I guess immune system was down. Then he said next day he started. Feel like like it start to redden, get redden. Red? Yeah, I mean get infection. Oh, infection from the yeah. insulin. He didn't care on time. It was a couple hours later, uh, got completely worse. Right. What got, happened? He got gangrene. He, did they have to cut his arm off? Yeah, he came. They cut the arm off, and a couple months later, he came back on the gym again, doing same stuff. Same stuff. And yeah. Did they cut the other arm off? No, just one. Oh, oh more of the arm. He just c- till the shoulder. In Russia, they cut things off. They don't do that in the United States. We try to save the things. Russia just like you fuck up, we cut your arm off. You know, <laughs> you know that, that story reminds me of this guy. I knew this Norwegian guy at the bar, right? Yeah. Every week he used to come. He had, he had uh, he was drinking heavy, right? He was a diabetic. He was diabetic. He yeah. was drinking, and so every week he came, he had more bandages. They were cutting fingers <laughs> off. Then he was in the bar with the bandage on here. Then he came with his foot. Every oh, week really? he came, they he were amputating. Yeah. He just kept, yeah, I, I love the guy. Was, yeah, it was every week I was looking at this guy. I was like, what? what's left? Yeah. 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 Then he right. died. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. 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 They finally. That's what happens died. when they cut all your body parts off. Now, let's go back to Boston for a second. 16 grams of stuff. What is well, it? I don't, I mean, honestly, my orals were probably bunkish bunk. They were balkan. They were probably really right. bad. Well, what? give me an idea of like how much, like how many cc's of like testosterone you were taking a week. Of tests? Maybe like two, I was probably doing two cc's of an anthate one cc of probe every day. Every day, so oh, yeah. three cc's. I was shooting test. twelve cc's a day of just gear. Where would you put it all? I w- I found places every uh, each head of my calf, uh, each head of my um, what shoulder, every shoulders. Um, uh, oh my te- my teardrops! I got horrible t- uh, c- uh, trend cough in my. I passed out one time actually because I shot. You know, talk about well, you you got trend cough, which is from taking Tremblone. It makes you Correct. cough, but most people get it from taking a half a cc. You're taking how many cc's? I probably I was taking up to three hundred migs a day. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, honestly, honestly, most people don't take that in a week. It was, it was just yeah. But was it real? Was it real though? That's the no, no, that's the, 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 the orals. Yeah. Were, I mean, the the injectables were real. But yeah. the thing is, is like the more obviously is not the better in that case because then you're just ha- you mean your body. You know, you can't you're just grow muscle or muscle just because you're shooting more gear. But a lot of kids think that now, which I'm trying so wh- to steer so away. So why from did that. you do that? Did you try to you, you experiment, experimenting? Experiment and honestly, and what, what was your final results? The tally. The higher think? gear was not worth the muscle. It was just pinning yourself with 12 cc's a mm-hmm. day of just gear and then synthol. On top of that, was not worth it because, I mean, 
I, I was doing 30 cc's of oil some days, you know, mm-hmm. and it just wasn't worth it. I put on maybe I didn't have any off season, and I was going to come in about 12 pounds. Bigger. How long did you keep that uh, going? I did that for eight weeks. Well, first I started off 12 weeks, and I was doing like four to five grams. So you basically I, do- I, I would up about two grams every two weeks. I would slowly taper because if I go crazy right away. I couldn't eat, and I would feel toxic. I feel always better if I taper my dose. So you up. basically were experimenting to see what the limits of what you needed to do and Comple- what would be the best. Completely. So what? So yeah, I said, said, why couldn't you use like a beginning. dog or something instead of yourself? I mean, <laughs> you know, that's kind of crazy, this right? And I, I got my blood work done. You know that, and it, everything. The, well, the yes, since you're 21, but yeah. if you were 31, you'd be dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Let's. let's well, what did you learn from all this? <laughs> What's the best dosages in your, or the most effective dosages in your mind? You know, the highest level you should go. 100 percent honest. Like when I hired you, actually. Um, I used, I mean, honestly, when I hired you, I followed Dave's plan to the T and I put on 26 pounds in a year of pure tissue actually. And he was using a lot, way, way less. Of stage weight. And I actually did listen to Dave's cycles in the very beginning and that's when I grew my best. And then I wanted to throw some orals in like Anadrol or D-Ball. Boom, my appetite's done. Lost 15 pounds in two weeks. So it was more of... You add these drugs, they're supposed to be like, you know, they're, they're adding water, they're volumizing. You're stronger in the gym, even though you weigh 15 pounds less. Right. But once you get off the D-ball and the you're going to lose the water anyways. So I actually like the cycles that, you know, you recommended, you know, gram a test, you know, and then you do like 600, 800 megs of EQ for six to eight weeks and then always switch your compounds. So always stay on test, I feel like. Well, you so know. you've actually come to that conclusion. Now, now Jimmy, interestingly, he I was going to tell him that's why I ate hot dogs. They, yeah. they sustained longer. Well, but no, because <laughs> you, know, you, so many, you took a lot of orals. You took a lot. Of, how many was the most anadrols you took back in the day? Per day. Uh, per day? Yeah, the most. Well, I have to admit, I'm not going to lie because I'm 54 now. Yeah. I don't give a fuck yeah. anymore. But I stayed on anadrol for like four years straight. Did you really? How, how yeah. many per day? I was doing like four to six a day. Holy <laughs> shit. I don't feel so bad That's now. That's why I ate hot dogs. But, but for I had mental problems. I did. I'm not going to I'm not gonna how, lie. How about injectables? Were you always on test? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Too lazy. Uh, my favorite cocktail was uh, uh, Sipionate, Sustanon, and uh, Suspension. And how much would you take a week of that yeah. back in the day? Uh, that wasn't much. Probably like um, in, to- in milligrams total, like yeah, per week. About three thousand, maybe like that. Per week, like, yeah, probably something. Like that, that was a lot. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Is that yeah. not including your orals? That's no, not, that, that wasn't including the oil. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot. Yeah. No so, one did that. So the, so the, <laughs> an, the an, was so strong. The anadrol was uh, fifty. No synthol in those arms. No, no right. synthol. Right. I didn't fuck with that shit. <laughs> no, there's no synthol there. I could. Nah, that's that's just just as me, you know. But the anadrol, I guess, if you count that, that was uh, if I took four tabs a day, that's two hundred megs a day, so that's a thousand a week right there, on top yeah. of the oil. I, I don't know how you ate every day. That's crazy. I don't know how you ate anything. Well, I ate hot dogs, hamburgers. Well, see, that's the know. thing. I could eat Subway, Pizza, Pizza Hut. I can eat, yeah. I can eat junk, junk food on anadrol, but I can't eat. Clean no, I had ten. I had ten percent body fat my whole fucking career, thirty years ever, straight. Eugene, you ever do any experimenting, like see how much you could take? No, no, you never did that. I will tell you one thing that Eugene did. He told me this crazy story. About didn't you get like a like some kind of abscess underneath your throat and you you cut it out yourself? No, that wasn't what was a stroke. That? Was it a stroke? What'd it you? was two thousand four. Explain what what happened to you. No, I had uh, infection under your right here, right? Yeah, in the throat. Oh, it was yeah. Well, I remember you telling us a story. Yes. You cut it out with yourself. You right? heated up a steak knife, didn't you? Yes, but it happened that I had actually abscess after injection. Yeah. Yes, that's why it came up. I, I usually don't go to the doctor. I heal myself home. <laughs> that's I the best I, way. Doctors I, suck anyway. I, I yeah, that's how I, I feel. Yeah. I take ice for a couple of days in the ice freezer. Is, yeah. Ice or cold uh, f- frozen fish. And I keep like hours. Like well, five, you put a frozen hours. fish on there? No, no. I was keep. I had upset here first one. Oh, on my oh, back. Oh. I come down. So where'd you keep the fish? In the freezer. Oh. I was keep, ch- ch- keep changing. Did you change the fish in the As freezer? the fish defrosts, he puts it back in the freezer. <laughs> yes. He takes another <laughs> fish out. Another one. That's what well, I, well, I don't know where I'm lost. What, what is the, the fish? The fish is the ice pack, basically. Yes. Oh, the fish. Oh, the fish. Oh, okay. And I thought called? it had some kind of like metamorphosis purpose. I came down infection, but the infection was still inside me. Right. The immune system is down. And that's why it came out in my throat. Right. In a couple hours. Oh, wow. It was under your tongue or something like that? Where was no, it? No, it was right in the throat. Right. So it's what did you do? He cut his throat open, he told you. Well, I wanted to, ha- right, I wanted to I, tell everyone I, how he did it. I usually grew up in a movie, uh, Rambo Terminator. Right, yeah. I took knife. I put the fire. You heat it up? Stove, heat up. You sterilize it? Yeah. Turn red? Yes. First, I took a uh, syringe, 10 cc. I, I came out of wind, I mean, the mirror. Was hard to open more. Be, be, more What'd you inject into you with the syringe? No, I tried to pull out the. Oh, you tried to draw the, it out. So you stuck a syringe in your yes, throat. Yes, through your tongue yeah, or no. under here? No, right here. Oh no! Through the back of your throat. Yes. You I weren't could. gagging? No, I okay. didn't hear. How big was the syringe you stuck back there? <laughs> See, 
<laughs> boss is like, I never did anything like that. Like, <laughs> it was probably a yeah. sustenance on Neil. Ten sixty syringe <laughs> into the back of your throat by yourself. No one else there. No. You didn't pass out. He had no choice. Ex right. ex wife, ex wife was sleeping. Ex wife was sleeping. All right. So that didn't work. Yeah, then I didn't work. I just. What I have to do, I need to do something bigger. So you get the steak knife. Something yeah, bigger. Knife, yes. And I, I hit till the red color. Yeah. It turns red, yeah, yeah. And then what'd you do? I tried to open the game mouth and I just... You stuck the red hot I, knife. I pushed how much I could and yeah. it was like I was cooking. You're trying steak. to pop the you abscess? Heard the sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> and smell it. Was, was blood coming out of you? No, blood didn't come out. It was smell. Well, it was he, smoke. <laughs> yeah, like you were cauterizing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't bleed. You cauterize the wound. How did you get the then system then? out? And I feel like I start to feel like pissing out. Right. Yeah, His heart is beating. Like, right. what to do? I have nothing in the house to wake up. And I remember that outside was snow, winter. Right. I came out outside and I passed out there. So you passed out in the snow? Yeah, then I woke up. In the Russian wet. winter? Yeah. I, I woke up with like... Was there blood in the snow? snow? No. A lot of snow. How come there was no blood from where you Wait, wait, wait. Shut up. Would you shut up? Let me tell the story. He said he, he went outside. He was buried in the snow. Because usually when you burn the room, it doesn't bleed. Oh, it cauterized itself. Yes. Yeah, he froze this wound. How are you going to no, bleed? First he cauterized it with the knife. Yeah, but as you as he's burning, he's going to breathe. He's, he's, he's melting the skin. Yeah, yeah. Then I came back on. I, 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 I feel it still. So how you woke up in the snow, how much long, how long I, were you there? I don't know. Yeah. I had no idea, maybe one hour, maybe less. I, had, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't count time. Then so I came back, back on. In? As I came back on, I see the steel there. I'm like, shit, I have to go through this you again. You still have the abscess. Yes. Yeah, so you like, did it again. I have to go again. I, I pull out knife again. Right. Make it red. Right. And I get got again myself. Right. With this. Did it work? <laughs> cooking. <laughs> no. Then I I'm like, shit. He's I'm a sick gonna, bastard. I'm like, I'm going to pass out again. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I start to walk faster, but I did make it outside. I, I pushed out right on the stairs. In the, in the doorway. <laughs> yes, in the stairs. Then I, I don't know how much time I was laying there. Right. I, I, I start to hear that. The so now your wife sleeping the whole time. Yes. Then I heard the uh, the tenant, the tenant, the landlord wife came, yeah. was leaving. I guess probably five in the morning. For four right. for work. Then I like I couldn't walk. <laughs> right. I was dr digging myself to the end um, at the back door. Right. Oh, you were outside. No, no, I was inside, but uh, I was crawling. You were crawling. crawling yes, okay. and I stay next to the door on the back back door. Huh. And she's like, "Usually everything is okay." I said, "Yeah." Okay. <laughs> is everything okay? You're on the floor. <laughs> Should I call the uh, police or whatever? Wait a minute, you're on the floor, and she's asking you for you at five in the morning. I said, "No, no, fine." Then I. Yeah. I came in the, in the house, I laid down, then I like, I like, get So down. what happened to the throat? No, there's not, there's not finished story. <laughs> 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 then I was laying maybe like 30 minutes and I right. was like, I, I, Usually we gotta go out drinking, man. Talking to myself <laughs> that we need to wake up, get up and fix it. Right. I guess what fix it. You have to still heal yourself. Yeah, yeah boiled water till the bubbles. Right. And I put half of the uh, glass of salt. Right. I mixed up. Salt and water. Yeah. Right. And about maybe like 10 minutes, a piece like that came out. What? Like that. Oh, from where you stabbed the knife yes. in? Came out. Came loose. Right on the sink. I tried to catch what it, it, but it, it like? fell down. It's like, uh, you know, frogs, eggs? Frogs. Yeah. Frogs yeah. legs, it looks like? Eggs. Frog egg, frog egg, eggs. Eggs. Yes, eggs. Gray, green color. So you, you, you healed yourself. Oh, it was you infected. It? That's why it was it green. Yeah. Out, but you see, I didn't, I didn't eat like one week. I couldn't eat. You couldn't then, eat anything for a week? Yeah. Then I didn't well, you eat, fucking I, burned I, your throat. I to drink water three days. Was and it? I feel like I start <laughs> to go to pee like blood. Oh, really? You yeah, peed blood? Was, yeah, it was done. I was dying. Yeah, so what happened? What you did? You go to the doctor? Then after when that piece came out, I started drinking. Where do I eat? No, oh, so no that pain. helped you then? Done. Really? Everything fixed it. Yet. Did you drink a vodka or water? Water. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you basically... You, you did surgery on yourself, yes, basically. Yes. No, no anesthesia. Yes. And it was successful. Yeah. <laughs> the third time it was a success. <laughs> So, so now I know where to go. Next time I got to have a problem, you call Eugene and he'll <laughs> heal you. I have a question though. How did you get that? Was that from a steroid injection? Yeah, it was an immune system down. He had a systemic like infection. I oh, guess. okay. Yeah. From a it shot was though. In, yeah, but, yeah. but it was staying in body. Because okay. I should, for, if you have an infection, I guess the antibiotic would help, but I didn't yeah. take yeah. antibiotics. Oh, okay. It traveled. It took time. It was, was, was yeah, it system. traveled, yeah. Oh my god. And the throat, I guess, was weak. You're lucky you didn't go like to the brain or something. Well, I, I tried to finished. drain multiple things, nothing to that. Do you extent. feel like like you're not so messed up when you hear like Eugene tell these stories? Well, I I've had sh like three shoulder sits from putting uh like I found out I had fake gear from right. one of my teenage shows, right. like completely fake gear. So I put like twelve CCs in my delt. Right. To, like I had two friends with six CC syringes go like this. Right. At the same time. Like they literally were well one. And they friend, draw it out? No, they, no, they were putting 
12 cc's oh. of gear in me. Oh, because and I got three cysts doing that. And really? that, that never went away, and I yeah. had to get and I and I got the tattoo about it. it. Yeah, but no, I got it cut out first, and then I got the tattoo yeah. over it. Let's show us the, the the bad shot you took on the tricep. Can you you want to show us that? Or you, what it looks like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad. Eugene, what do you think? Maybe Eugene can give you some some clues. Yeah, but who, on how does, to who does twelve cc's in one what shot? This is how old, how long ago did you do that? Three four months? months? Four months ago. Eugene, any any suggestions how he can heal that? Heal what? Heal, heal yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You ready to heal? You can't heal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Eugene, I like you, Eugene. Like, 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 like you're done. You healed already. Fine. All right, guys. You know what? Stay. St st oh, we got a question. Johnny Styles. Uh, this is to Ron Norman, Eugene, and, and Boston. They want your opinion. Is Kai Green taking Synthol? I, I think most of these top guys, I mean, they're big, big sponsored contracts. Kai that, Green. Do you think Kai Green is on Synthol? I don't, That's the question. I, I actually... In your, in your 21 years of experience. Okay, I would say that Kai Green is probably has used Synthol in the past, but is he on it now? He's probably on something more like Nolotil, uh, loading it, you know, a couple days before the show. Eugene, what do you think? Do you think Kai Green is on Synthol? I'm going to speak about the, concretely about him, but... People use that. Yeah, you think so? Do you think the pros do use? I'm it? there, staying yeah. on the Olympia station. You see, I know what is it? All right, Ron. Yeah, Norman, I mean, uh, yeah. any any. Ron's giving the yes. He thinks he is. Okay. Well, of course, all these guys have tried it, but are they currently on it? I would say more of these guys are. You know, they're they're. I mean, well, when you have like a 25 inch bicep peak, you think that's that's that. I to me, it looks like his arms are, are well, that's, real. That's, his, that's, that's genetically really how his. It looks arms pretty natural are. to me. But, you know, obviously these guys have to enhance the stuff because to keep up with the rest of the body parts, you know. So, I mean, yeah, it does have enormous and arms. I'll, I'll be honest with you, in that last couple Arnold's I've seen, it's been actually pretty obvious that people have been spot shooting either yeah. oil in their arms, triceps, you know. It's been pretty obvious yeah. lately. I think as long as it's done artistically and it doesn't look obvious, no, then you can get away with it. If you go deep enough. All right, guys, let's take a two-minute commercial break. When we come back, we haven't even talked to Ariel. We're going to talk to Ariel Palumbo. We have our special guest coming on. He's going to give us uh, some of his insights, and we're going to find out if Boston Lloyd might not be the most controver controversial guy on the Internet. This guy might have him eclipsed. Stay tuned. we got a lot of excitement ahead.